place looks. Oh, what hey. the fuck? <laughs> nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really uh different. Different. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I decorated it myself. I can see that. Yeah. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Come on, show me what you got, big shot. I'll poke your head out and I'll give it to you. You drive. Well, we're taking. Oh, it's right here. Got it. I'm not the one getting in front of the cops. Are you joking me right now? Oh, what's going on, it's Johnny, and welcome back to Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. We're on chapter 11, okay, of the Mafia 2 campaign. So, where we last left off, we had to go pick up Joe from a bar, and then he shot someone. So we had to take him home, and then take the body and discreetly get rid of it. So, now we're back home, we took a little bit of a nap, and now we're waking up to a phone call. I think, no, 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 knocking, that? knocking. All right, new artwork unlocked. Check out my menu. I don't care. Get some clothes on, shall we? All right, open the door. Hey, Vito. There he is. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. I swear to God, if I gotta drive your car, I'm mad about it because eh, that makes no sense. Like literally no sense. You're gonna make me drive, huh? Oh, I can open the hood? Alright, I guess we're gonna get in the car, huh? I gotta drive your car? Well, that I makes you know, zero sense. Dead, along with everybody else. Yes. Listen, Vito, I know Falcon. Shut up, I got it. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look. About you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. Uh, you kind of do, so... So, uh... How's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know? Oh my god, the wrong way, the didn't I? at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything my about fault, that, would fault. you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Or ever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. Very true. Yeah, Mustaches. Better off in a different line of work. To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. <laughs> in pursuit of a hit and run driver. Yeah. <sighs> God damn it. it. Better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business Come at on. the hotel. Get going, I'm gonna go. bastard. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. That's why I came to see you. I need more, bitch. I'm going out of here. Huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe Solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Come on. Go. Hey. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who works for Clemente called me. He's worried. 
He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right, go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. Okay. Three grand off that one job. Now we gotta go warn Leo. Oh shit, really? Oh god, we are, we're getting timed? Get in the car! Today? Get... Uh, hello? Get in the car? Okay, that's kind of time to mess around. Come on, come on, come on. Go. Right? We gotta go. Oh my god, we have a pretty far drive. We gotta have a quarter of our stuff gone. We gotta go. We gotta get there fast. Hey, take a ride up here. Excuse me, sir, I'm coming in. Passing you as well. Hey, we're doing so good. So good right now, but you just never know. Especially with these cops, man. They're they're so annoying in this game. Duh, are you serious? There's a cop right here. It's a... In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. I mean, look at that. Are you effing fucking joking, Copy man? That. Yeah, I said it. Effing, effing joking. God, I hate this. I was like doing ten. Yeah, but I think we lost him. Uh, we're doing good so far. My God, that's what I'm saying. I mean, cops in this game are so stupid. Make no sense. You could speed past him doing 110 in a car, but if you're doing five over behind him, oh my God, get out of the way. Like this right here, about hit that guy. Didn't care, didn't care at all. If I get behind him and doing, I'm doing five over. Oh God forbid. Ridiculous.
Okay, we're gonna go up this way. You gotta be getting close. Time for the run out too. How do I get in? How do I get in? Are you serious? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I was just... All right, we are here. I failed three times doing this. Leo, I want, I want you guys to know that. Leo, you here? How Second time. Get in here. Get out of here. Twice I failed this. Leo, Leo, put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito, what the hell are you doing? Take a second. Hold on. You could have called. Leo, there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here quick. They're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong? With okay, you? so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you. Stop talking for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, <laughs> wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh shit, Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Okay, so escape with Leo. Don't let... Don't let, him, don't let him freaking know we were here. We can get down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the laundry. Okay. Where the F is the laundry at? Where's the laundry? What the hell are you doing here? All right, take it easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. And do it right, but okay. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anything was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him, you gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and will have me killed. Damn it, Henry, I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Guido, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's got to be a way. Guido. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. for this one pal what hey kid leo you want a drink what the hell happened your friend and i made a deal i'm gonna disappear there's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed and i was planning to retire someplace warm anyway nice 
Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Okay. Kind of like I was saying, though, um, I actually... Wait, is he following me? I had to do this twice. Okay, we went, he went, he went this way. The second time I got all the way up here and a freaking police was on me. Right when I pulled in. So it failed me. Ooh, I want that car. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Okay, Vito. Now get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. This After your car. Been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. Factual. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got complicated real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. And what did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. <laughs> All right, we actually got him good. So let's go ahead and go back home. All right, we're back home. What are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, why? <laughs> he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and whoa, he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey, when you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito, but please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? <laughs> We're definitely gonna be hurting that guy. And that's a fact. All right, let's go grab a car. And finally get a freaking car that we need. Let's see here. Let's take the red one out today. Uh, okay, he's not he's not far away actually. Try up here. It's good. It means we don't gotta go far. It's like right up here. I see it. Yep, right there. Boom. Alright, where is he at, I wonder? Is he up top? Is this gonna be it? Is this his? No. Up one more. Excuse me, dude. Uh, I guarantee this is it. Oh my god, this place is a nasty. Talk. That was a bad mistake, dude. Hey, yeah, get out of here, you dumb sleut. Okay. 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 Bada bang. Boom. I'm also got the mute days. I'm sorry. Uh, there's actually music here. Uh, it cannot be um, on YouTube. So. Boom. Bada bing. One more. Boom. Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I'll F and kill you. All right? 
From now on, you're gonna stay home, stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's effing happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the effing job. You got it? Yeah, I. Uh, Okay, everybody, the party's over. There won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same thing to the rest of yes. Got it. Boom. I got it. Go home. All right, let's go ahead and go back homes. It's been a freaking day, dude. Seriously. All right, open the door. It's freaking raining outside. It's all gross. I'm all wet. I just want to go home. Crack open a coldie and go to sleep. All I want to do, but yet here I am doing a bunch of nonsense. But it's for my sister though, so she's lucky I love her. Yeah, this thing turning is awful sometimes. All right, we are home. Let's see what Frankie's doing here. And the thing's still not over. I thought the mission would be over by now. You know, it's Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you... You stay away from us, you understand? Really? Just, just stay away. <laughs> really? You're gonna come to me, tell him, tell me that this dude you're, you're, you're seeing is cheating on you and then hitting you and you expect your brother not to hurt him? Seems a little sus, but that's just me. Uh-oh. Torch the place! Do it! Now! <laughs> My house, bro. You take or cut. Born. <laughs> My house. Fuck. About. How did you? You didn't see me jump out of the window, really? Ouch. God, dude, are you joking? Can I get in a? Can I get in a boat? Is there a boat? I don't think so. Ouch, bro. God, dude, one hit, you're freaking dead. Where do I gotta go here? Okay, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get a car, like ASAP. Okay, we got a car. Gotta get out of here. I'm guessing we're going to Joe's, maybe, or something. Not only really for sure where we're going. Ring doorbell. We're at Joe's house now. Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on. Come on, baby. I'm coming. I'm coming. Here. Let's... What were you barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I I'll fix you a drink. All right, thank you. This place looks... <laughs> oh, what hi. the fuck? <laughs> nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... Different. Different. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I decorated it myself. I can see that, yeah. Look at all the money on this table. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about him? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. <sighs> Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. All right, you must get dressed. Working on it, okay? Working on it. I don't care. Hey, Let Joe. me wear whatever I got. Great. Yeah, I know. I know. I need a favor. A bunch of mixed. Didn't get any worse. What it look like? I don't look that bad. I want to know who they are and where they're operating. It's a bit bigger, but it's a bigger shirt, but it works. I have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. 
Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. All right. Open it up there, Joey. All right, let's go down to his car. Oh, you're locking your stuff. Got it. Go with Joe. Working on it, working on it. Gotta get the gotta get the freaking car first. Come on, get in. This thing looks horrible. Probably me right. that wrecked it, but all right. So you heard anything about the Mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot, so he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place. Surprise the shit out of him. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax. We'll be there in a minute. Sure freaking will. Shit, you're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. What are you ready, Vito? Come on. Let's go get these fucks. All right, here we go. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Oh, my in. God. You shoot like my sister. <laughs> Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Come on, show me what you got, big shot. Well, poke your head out and I'll give it to you. I won't want to get on your bad side. Come on. Come on out, dude. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead now. All right? Oh, he's gonna get in his car, huh? Gotcha. There's more of them in that car. Let's go to getting away. All right, come on, you drive. Where are we taking? Oh, it's right here. Got it. I'm the one getting in front of the cops. Are you joking me right now? Let's go, Vito. We gotta get closer. Ah, uh, shit. We lost him. Ah, uh, come on. Let's just get out of here. Fine. Are you serious? Drink anyway. Well, that takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. Don't worry. I'm actually this pissed off right now. Good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home. I don't care. So Whatever. It's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff that got pointed up is just things. Point up? Know. Just things. Hey, those were my things, Joe. What do you think I do to shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. You know, a fucking wharf route like my old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back Shoot. on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking Oops. half full with you, isn't it? My fault, my fault. You drive like my fucking grandma, do you know that? Hey. Jeez. Relax. Are you, you serious? Excuse me. I went through. Okay, I'll see you around, I guess. See you, buddy. 
Sorry about tonight. Go to Marty's apartment. Got it. God, dude. 90% of this game just driving around. Okay, it looks like we're here now. How do I get up? You guys up here? Open the door. What a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Uh, I guess we're going to bed. That's nasty, though. Fuck, all right. This is creepy. <laughs> the sheets are all gross. Chapter 12. We're almost done. We have one more uh, chapter after chapter 12. Mars apartment, September 22nd, 1951. Uh. House burned to the ground. All right, guys, that was chapter 12 of Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. As always, guys, I'm Mr. Johnny, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mafia. Uh, we have two more after this. There's 13 chapters total, I think. Um, yeah, I guess, I'll see, I guess I'll see you guys soon. Bye.